podcast. Hey guys, welcome to Brew Games. We're here live at Fregapalooza. I'm Joe Evans. I'm Adam Eliason. And we got Andrew Commodore Widelick. And Gil Strat Norris. Okay. Here with us. <laughs> We're gonna try some beer and then talk about Fragapalooza. Yeah. So which one do you guys want to try first? Andrew brought these from Grand Prairie from the Green Bin. We got a robust porter. We have a strawberry rhubarb sour. Well, that sounds good. And we have a ale spruced up. Sounds so like Gil wants spruced to hips. No, well, that's the best one. So we'll, we'll, sorry, I didn't interrupt you. That's uh, we should have the last. Sure. Say the best for last. Yeah. Say the best for last. I think it was okay. So I think we should maybe go with the uh, spruce first. Okay. Sure. Then we'll go with the porter, and then we'll finish off with the rhubarb. Sounds good. So do you guys want to talk about Fragapalooza while I pour these? Sure. Oh, well, I think we should let. Uh, yeah, we'll President start with talk. Gil. How did it start? Why did it start? Uh, well, Fragapuzzle was started back in 1997. A bunch of gamers that wanted to play in the in the same room instead of on the slow internet. Um, I want to say slow ass internet. I don't know if you're going to beat that on or not. Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> but slow internet. And uh, so we got together at an airplane hangar back in, like I said, 97. And it's uh, it's been going since. This is our 20th year. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. How about you, Andrew? How did you get involved? Uh, I first heard about Fraggle Blues in 99. I didn't go. But 2000 was my first year. It was still in the hangar at the time. And uh, I mean, no HPBs, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't heard that term in a while. <laughs> Very good. No HPBs? You know what HPB is? Bastards. Hey, he's old. <laughs> what is it? Hyping bastards. Oh, yeah. You. What was your first year? 2004. And Three, how old were you? Uh, born in 89. So with math, I'd be 14. 14. Did, did your parents just, like, drop you off? Yeah. Like, all right, these are your babysitters. So we babysitted you? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you turned out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> turned out okay. <laughs> My first okay. year, I believe, was 01, and I was born in 82, so. You're a bit older. A little bit older. <laughs> That's why I know what HPV is. <laughs> so, it was, All right. Well, cheers. 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 Try. It's much milder. Than I was yeah, expecting. I was going to say light. A bit of a sweetness on the nose, though. I like didn't honey. expect. Yeah. This this Maybe is it's a sap. A ginger beer. It's, the it's a pale pine. ale. Oh, the pine. Spruce tips pale ale. Oh, well, I could I could see that. Yeah. We've had other like spruce beers before, though, and it's like it's like drinking a pine tree. It's like yeah. Not really I think good. this one works on you though. At first, you don't really get it, and then as you're sipping a bit more, it's it starting to come through. A little fragrant. Yeah. Yeah. Off to a good start, though. I think I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not bad. Usually, I'm a little uh, nervous of uh, beers with exotic ingredients, like pine needles or <laughs> strawberry rhubarb <laughs> or strawberry rhubarb. Yeah, but strawberry rhubarb is uh, dessert related, so it uh, implies that it'll be tasty rather than just full of uh, pine needles. Right. Very true. So, first games. First games? Good. Sure. What games were you playing at the first frag? First frag, the official game was Quake World. Quake. And that was the only game. So there was a large community playing that game. We had a video card, a GL. Do you remember the GL video cards? No. no okay. <laughs> I think GL you were still card. in preschool. Yes. <laughs> you probably were. <laughs> That's when everything uh, started to become more uh, clear with the GL drivers and stuff. Okay. Yeah, and actually the first year, I'm trying to remember, I think we actually got uh, id Software involved in that too. Oh wow, really? Yeah, we had a match against one of the developers, one of uh, our uh, good gamers actually 
played him online while he was in Texas. So it was good. That's awesome. That's awesome. How about you, Andrew? Like my first uh, video game ever? No, well, what games were you playing at your first My first Um, I played Quake 2. Quake 2, or maybe even it was Quake 3 back in 2000. Quake 3 was the first game I got really hardcore into, so... Um, yeah, it was probably Quake 3. And I think that even Counter-Strike was a part of... Uh, Early beta, probably, yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah. yeah. Sad. Beta. So pre 1.6. Like oh, and pre retail. Okay. Action yeah. Quake. A lot of Action Quake. Action Quake, yes. Yeah. Based on Quake 2. Yeah, it was a fun one. I yeah. think probably would have been like half the land playing Action Quake, half the land playing CS at that time. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Given yeah. off the community online. Yeah. 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 So that's one thing I've found is like tough to do with like land parties nowadays because there's all the old games that everyone kind of reminisces about. They want to go back and play those. But there's also all these new games that people want to play, like Overwatch or whatever. Yeah. And so you have this huge variety of games that nobody can really agree what to play on. And the problem only gets worse is more games come out. That's true. But all first-person shooters are pretty much the same for us anyways. You just put the crosshair on the target and... Click. Yeah, you just instead in Quake 3, you just put it anywhere. And Overwatch, you just put it on the guy's head. Yeah. So, sorry, I'm just gonna turn this off. <laughs> All good. So the next one, next beer we have here is the Robust Porter, also from the Green Bay. It's 8.8%, so it's pretty strong. And that's about all it says. Very right. dark. Oh. Cheers. Cheers again. Cheers. Cheers. Well, my first thought is it kind of reminds me, it's kind of like a Guinness. I get that. I almost feel like I'm drinking molasses or something. I was yeah. going to say prune juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a bit too sweet. It has to have more of like an earthiness to it to be a porter than I'm used to anyways. Yeah. This is more of a port without the fur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> has that weird kind of like sweet tanginess to it that a port yeah. would have. Yeah. Although Andrew said Guinness, I, I kind of get that kind of taste off it now too. A little maybe bit. Just put the thought in my head. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You're you're kind of gullible, you know. Yeah. Impressionable. Impressionable. Back when you're 14 years old, <laughs> <laughs> and we were in charge. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't drink that again. I wasn't. Yeah, I'm like in the, the other yeah. one. What was the what was the percent on this? It First was, one, probably about a 5.5. It was a 7.7. .7. Oh wow. Mm. That's an easily drinkable 7.7. .7. Yeah, it's yeah. very much so. It was dangerous. It's, it's... Right, you had something you are going to bring up? Yeah, I wanted to get a take from both of you guys of what each of you think was your the best Frega and what was the worst Frega. Either event or just event within the event. Hmm. And we've had a lot of like duds on like fun tournaments we've done that have just ugh, disasters. I remember a few years ago, actually I think it was four years ago, in honor of the uh, the last Olympic Games, we did a video game decathlon. I remember that. Do you remember that? Yes. yes. And we got, we, we got uh, I don't know if we started with 10 people, no, we started with a bunch of people, and we had 10 games picked out, and it just turned out to be a chore, and like no one's having fun anymore. <laughs> yeah, it became logistically way too, way too much that we took on. So like, too a, ambitious. like a decathlon. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like... It, and people are getting frustrated. Our rules don't make any sense because they're all about eliminating as much people as quickly as we can. Yeah, no, yeah, it, that was a dud. I think one of our best years was either 2004 or 2005 when we had, we were around the 800, 900 mark and we had huge sponsors. And uh, I think Microsoft was out with the, or no, it was. I think it was Microsoft with their Xbox. Yep. And they they yep. uh, did a uh, Halo, Halo tournament for the first time in North America. This one, Xbox is brand new. Yeah. I believe Voodoo PC was at that one too? Uh, the, the no, I think before. that was the year before. Okay. That, and that's the one that I was going to say was the worst one. Yeah. When there was a guy that was screaming on the mic the whole time. <laughs> and he came up with the worst fun things where eating someone, a jar of beets. 
Yeah, someone cut, like, take your computer apart as fast as you can. Blindfolded. Blindfolded. Oh, and then one guy puked, right? One guy puked because it was so hot. And in his computer, yeah. yeah. And computers are not dull. They're sharp in there, so there's guys bleeding. and uh, Yeah. Which is funny because I think that was one of my favorite years because I was the winner of the TI-4600 Gold Edition reference card because <laughs> they had a weird 3D mark competition. It's like... We want someone with the highest 3D mark and someone with the lowest 3D mark. That's right. So it was me and my buddy. He had like a really good system. He already had a TI-4600, but he wanted the reference card. And I had just like a best bang for your buck kind of system, like a GeForce 2 and stuff like that. And so he helped me ramp it down as dumb as I could, <laughs> like declocking the processor, like ripping out all the RAM except for one stick, like forcing the uh, ID hard drive off of DMA so it was using processor to like do all the operations <laughs> um, and it just barely ran the 3D mark test so I ended up getting the lowest mark and then it was like the dumbest way to like have us compete for the card where it's like well you both play FPS and we can't do that and so they're like arm wrestling competition makes no sense because that guy's way bigger than you obviously and I was like whatever <laughs> Uh, so they actually had us play uh, a MAME emulator and play Marvel vs. Capcom. And right away my friend just like, fuck, you win. Because he knows that I, at that time, was playing that game all the time on the Dreamcast. And he's not that good at fighters. I was like, well, you can say something if you don't want to play that. He's like, no, that's fine. And so we did best of three and like just demolished him in two rounds. I was like, best of five? And he's like, yeah, okay. And then I like, got demolished him again. I was like, that oh, was a practice round? <laughs> like, just trying to keep like... Get yeah. him to like compete, and anyways, I ended up walking away with the video card. So nice. it was a good year for me. <laughs> right on. Right on. What was your best year, Adam? My best year, uh, I think it was two thousand five, two thousand six, when uh, they had that extreme, they extreme came PC, the Core Two Duo mm. Extreme Edition, mm -hmm. and you picked five people to build a computer. That's right. Oh, All right. And so I was one of those five. We we, uh, we selected it by you had to submit what your system well, you, you had to have a yeah. creative uh, computer build I guess that's right it was sponsored and, by MGD I believe that's right so my idea was to put it in like a barbecue and like you lift the lid up and it'd be like your LCD screen and your components were below and you'd have your keyboard on top type thing and apparently that was <laughs> I selected that because <laughs> I knew who you were. And you somewhat we were babysitting you all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was, all right, we'll throw them in. Well, thanks. You're welcome. But uh, yeah, when when we were doing the build, there was a power surge, and we were on the the cheap dollar store power bars. The strips, not the surge protectors. Yeah. So it fried my uh, power supply and motherboard. So <laughs> I didn't win. But I got replacements. So. Yes. Nice. That was my favorite. Most memorable, for sure. Awesome. Let's give this one a try. Yep. Let's do it. Cheers. This is the strawberry rhubarb sour. Cheers. Cheers. I noticed it right good. away it's it's quite cloudy. Yeah, it's yeah. unfiltered. And and I won't even say chunky. Well, that's tart. It's rhubarb. And it's a sour beer, so it's meant to be. Yeah. yeah so. Sour. Is it a proper sour or is it probably a kettle sour? I don't think they're big enough yet to be doing proper sours. They take like three years in the barrel to age. I don't think, I don't think they've been around that long. Yeah, so it's probably just a kettle sour. It just says strawberry rhubarb sour, 4.7%. So it's volume two, so it must have been a volume one. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm not, a big, I'm not a big sour beer fan, but this is surprisingly good. Yeah. It's, they're definitely not, other than maybe this one, they're definitely not trying to do something to any, like, too extreme. Too extreme, no, you're right. Yeah. But, especially for these two, the first and the last ones, I think what they've done is pretty good. Yeah. This, this first one's I think the first on one's my favorite, yeah. yeah. I think it's my favorite, too, yeah. followed by the strawberry rhubarb and then the order. Third. Yeah, I'd rate it that way as well. Me, too. Me, too. Great minds think alike. Yeah, awesome. Hopefully, we see more coming out of them. That's Green Bin out of Grand Prairie. Yeah. So, do we have any uh, little tidbits that we can be privy to for next year? Um, working on obviously making it bigger and 
possibly having a tournament on North America's largest screen, mobile screen. Okay. Wow. Yeah. We'll see if we can make that work. Nice. Interesting. Yep. That'd be very cool. Awesome. You were we were pretty full this year, right? There's only a few yep. empty seats. There's only so. a few empty seats, so yeah, we were pretty full. It was good. It's a good turnout. News. Very good news. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, and our event went really well. Our Bomberman 2 tournament. Yeah, we gave away a 3DS and yep. Smash Bros for a, whoever was the best at Bomberman 2. So. Heard good reviews yeah. for it, yeah. Awesome. Right on. Well, well, and that'll do it for the episode. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, so thanks check out Frankapalooza.com. We're at uh, brewgames.ca. Uh, are you guys on Twitter much? Do you want to do Twitter handles? We're not, but our other guys are. Okay. That's so. right. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, thanks again, guys. For yeah, thank you. Us. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. And for running Fragapalooza. Can we do a final cheers? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers.